Hi, this is a very quick um, film just about the Mamiya 645-1000S. You might find when you wind it on, it doesn't do that. It just goes and you can't trigger it. I discovered that um, on YouTube there's loads of videos about dismantling this thing, about opening this up, and there's um, a million billion little um, screws and stuff in there. It's a lovely camera. Um, but I found those videos very unhelpful. What I found was the key thing was I got around to the other side, and just in here, can you see that? There are two. If I up the exposure a bit, there are two tiny little screws there. So if you take off the um, little panel there, you'll see there's two little tiny screws. They are the adjuster screws for the front and rear curtains. If they're too loose, like if your camera's pretty old, it won't work. That's all you need to know. So basically, there's you can see when if you look really closely, there's a tiny little. Um, like lever of metal that stops a, a ratchet so what you can do if you need to loosen it is you can very carefully lift that lever of metal up and that will let the curtain just go completely loose and then you can just use a screwdriver to tighten it up to get to the right, right tightness what I found was once it was at the right tightness the camera would fire and, and work perfectly the other thing to mention is I found it fast speed so at 1 500th and 1000th um, the camera didn't um, fire properly so I'd have the bottom half of my so this is the exposure right the bottom half would be black because as the the front curtain would go down and then the back curtain would go too soon um, not too soon but it would be tighter so it would go faster and it would catch up with the bottom curtain so the lower half of my exposures were getting blocked out so in that case so if you've got if you've got the case where the front curtains going down and then the back curtain is is catching up with it halfway down and, you, and you're getting banding um, you just need to adjust the f the first curtain basically to make it faster so that it so that they both go down at the same time it can take a little bit of trial and error but you can do that by i just used um, an iphone and filmed it in slow motion um, shining a torch through it and I just filmed it in slow motion on my iPhone and then um, you can see when it's at one thousandth you can see that it travelling properly just about um, anyway I hope that was helpful that's it check out my other videos I've got a video about um, viewers next nice